Well, hello there, fishing friends, and if you're new here, welcome. So every year I like to do a tour of the lodge, uh, mainly for new players, uh, but you know, people who've been playing it for a while, they might enjoy watching this video as well. Uh, I basically go over all the new features and all the different features that, uh, that are in the lodge, as far as uh, how to use the board and how to change your avatar and your clothing and your boats and all that good stuff. Um, you know, they do add some new features every year. So that's why I update every, every year. Um, this is the 2023 edition. So I've done this, this will be my third time doing this now. So I hope you enjoy it. So uh, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so let's start here. When you first load into the game, you will see your mail. Now I highly recommend that you always read the mail. That way you can see anything that's coming up. Um, they'll often show you any known issues and stuff like that, stuff that they're working on, stuff that they've fixed. Um, they also will just show you when they're gonna have any maintenance and stuff like that. So I highly recommend that you read the mail. Also, make sure you hit confirm. That will take you to sometimes a second, sometimes even a third page. So like this one is showing us that the new year edition is available now, which is why I'm doing this video. I usually do it every year. So this shows us that there's 10 new uh, locations that are be given to free or given out for free um, to people that didn't buy the US West um, DLC. So what they did was they gave these to us, the people that bought the US West last year, they gave us these locations for free and they figured, well, since we got them for free, they should make them free for everybody. So yeah, so we, we when we bought the US West DLC, we didn't actually pay for these. So it's not like they're giving away anything that's been paid for. These are free to us, so it should be free to everybody. They're also going to be giving out um, four free Japan DLC maps as well. Um, and they're going to be giving those out free to everybody as well. So yeah, so you can scroll through there and then hit confirm again on there and it'll go away. Now, if you want to read that again, you can always go back over here to your board and click on that mail icon in the top right corner. And it has the same information just without all the pretty pictures. So while we're here, let's go ahead and talk about the board. Um, this is where we're going to cover a lot of the stuff uh, in this video. So we have news. The very first tab is your news board. That is basically the leaderboard. Um, people who, who did the leaderboard and uh, how they ranked. So you can scroll down here and see who the top 10 people were for the freshwater leaderboard, who the top 10 people were for the saltwater leaderboard, and anybody that uh, got in the top 100 actually get some special gloves. So if you wanna ever participate in the leaderboard, do a lot of fishing, if you wanna fish for a few hours every day, um, you might be able to earn yourself some gloves if you make it to the top 100. Over here on the rewards tab, this will show you the rewards that you get if you log in every week. So if you log in at least once a week, you get different rewards. You'll get, you know, glasses and hats and shirts and sweaters and stuff like that. So you want to make sure you come out here at least once a week, um, make it on a, on a Sunday afternoon or something like that. All you got to do is just log in, um, sit for a couple seconds, you get your reward and then you can do some fishing or if you don't have time to fish at that time, then you can log back out. But highly recommend you come out here and uh, and get your rewards. That way you can get this special reward, you know, at the very end. Usually uh, you get something cool at the very end. Coupons. Now in the mail, uh, there are sometimes going to be coupons. There was a, you know, a couple of Jap Japanese fishing rods and reels that you could get using the coupon code. So uh, they gave away a coupon code for Christmas. Uh, for the holiday time and you could go in here and you enter that coupon code in. you got a cool fishing rod stuff like that so make sure you read the mail because often those codes will be in there and that's how you can get some cool free stuff and also they'll use this code if you if you ever play on the beta if you're any on the uh, facebook page or any of the other social media sites sometimes they will release a beta out and they'll ask for people to help them out to troubleshoot any, you know, bugs and stuff like that. Try to find bugs. Sometimes they'll use a, you know, 
almost every time they'll give you a coupon code that you can go in and use that to uh, unlock all the levels you know, so that you're level 20 so you don't have to go through all of that while you're trying to help them find a bug and we already went through the mail let's go down here to the map location so this is the map um, this is where you're going to be able to also buy your DLCs so if you go to map and you don't have a DLC you'll be able to click on that location and buy that DLC of course we have the new US West free that's going to be available for everybody um, I have US West you have Japan part 1 Japan part 2 and the original South Korea right there now if you go into a map area here say we go into South Korea then you can select the location you want to go to and click on go fishing now if you're in here and you want to go back to the main map all you got to do is click up here in the top left corner go back to the world map then you can select that one go to that location again you can always go back to the world map another way that you can get to your maps is by using your B button to bring up your pop-up menu you got your pop-up menu here you can click on the map icon right there you can switch between the different locations up here and select your map right there and select the different locations and just click that exit exit out of there and let's go to look at the fishing tackle fishing tackle is where you're going to find all your rods and reels and bobbers and lures and bait and all that stuff this is all the stuff that uh, you have purchased so you can see all the different durabilities and all that stuff you click on it you can change between the different rods there you can also switch up here this is for your uh, spinning this is for your casting so as you can see that you got different rods and reels for casting and spinning right now we're on fresh water if you click over here that's salt water so if I want to click on my salt water I can see what my salt water casting rod is okay and casting rod or casting reel I should say click on that click on my casting reel there we go I have that that's my rods and reels and that's what I'm gonna have once I start fishing so that I've, since I've set that up um, so yeah so that's where as you can see the Japan durability is maxed out it will actually never break so if you purchase that or I shouldn't say purchase that if you redeem that with the code um, the durability on that is 100% and it will never go down it will never break unlike the other rods and reels that their durability as you can see the durability on that one is down just a little bit will eventually break and then you have to purchase a new one purchase a new one's pretty easy actually you go in here to the store and you click on rods and you click on the rod that you need to purchase and you click buy it'll be a buy button down here also if you're ever out fishing and you get a broken rod or a broken reel or anything breaks while you're fishing because like I said the durability does go down Let's see if I can find one with um, durability that's low oh never mind because these are all new so <laughs> I was thinking, so yeah these are all maxed out durability but you can see like that one has a lot longer durability right there but if you ever need to buy one all you gotta do is press your B button again brings up your pop-up menu you have a store right there you can buy the same stuff that you can buy here you can buy while you're out fishing right here you got your rods your reels your lures if you go to float fishing you can get your bobbers and your baits and stuff like that while you're out fishing you don't have to come back to the lodge to buy anything so that is for the rods and again we got the same thing for the reels um, the baits it says we can go out and buy your bait so if you need to stock up on some crawfish or anything like that I buy A's so I only buy A's now and I've actually kind of wiped out all my other ones so that they don't show up when I'm fishing so that's why I only have I have zero on those other ones I highly recommend that you you don't stock on your on your C and your your B bait buy, buy it a little at a time because eventually when you unlock A that's just buy a bunch just buy a bunch of a and that's what you'll end up using so you you get a lot of money and, and so eventually you'll you'll run out of stuff to buy and you'll just buy a bunch of baits and and lures and stuff like that but so we have the bobbers over here um you can come out here and buy different bobbers there's different drift speeds on the bobbers you have your stick bobber that's got a slight drift speed your round one has no drift so wherever it lands it stays right there your oval it's got a 
midway drift there. You got your pencil bobber. Pencil bobber and the round bobber almost, I mean, pencil bobber hardly moves at all. And then you got your chubby bobber there that drifts really fast across the water. And then you have the LED, the light up versions for when you're night fishing. So you can go out here and buy the different bobbers. Bobbers do have durability as well. Even though it's not listed, they you do lose them. So if you do a quick retrieve, and what a quick retrieve is, is when you pull your thumbstick back after you've got a fish on the line to snap it and let it go, um, there is a chance that you also will lose that uh, that bobber if you're using a bobber. All right, and we go down here to the aquarium. Now this is the aquarium for freshwater right over there. This is my aquarium for freshwater. These are all the different things that you can buy for your freshwater aquarium. Furniture, there is no furniture for freshwater or Lodge A. So I will show you some furniture here shortly. And we got boats. These are all the different boats that you can buy. You can buy these five freshwater boats and then you can buy these four saltwater boats. There's also boats that you can earn on different contests and stuff like that during different events. I've, I've earned some boats. So, and also if you buy all the boats, you will unlock the submarine. And then your avatar, these are all clothing for the avatar. You got your, your hats and you got your jackets and your glasses and your gloves. And as you can see, I've purchased all the gloves and all the jackets and all the hats and I've, I've bought everything. Eventually you run out of stuff to do with your money. So you just buy everything. <laughs> and one thing to note about the avatar is this stuff is only usable on the real VR fishing avatar, which is what I'm using right now. If you are playing using the meta avatar, which I believe it defaults to the meta avatar, I will show you how to switch that to the real VR fishing avatar so that you can utilize all the different clothing and stuff that you buy. Um, I, I personally like the VR fishing avatar better than the meta avatar because of, you know, you got your cool gloves and I don't need to see my, my arms. I, it actually bothers me. <laughs> so I kind of, I've gotten used to just seeing my hands and I, I don't mind it now. So, so yeah, I highly recommend just using the real VR fishing avatar so that you can use all the cool clothing and stuff like that. We go down here to the fish. Now the fish here, these are all the fish that are in my freshwater tank. Um, there's another location that has salt water, but these are going to be all the fish when we're in Lodge A for my freshwater tank. You can select these little check boxes here so you can turn on and off if you want to just have Japan Part 2 fish. And you can look at all the Japan Part 2 fish if you want to have the Japan Part 1 fish and stuff like that. So we can go down here. Right now I have 50, fi uh, 50 fish in there. If I hit reset, that will reset it back down to zero. I'll have no fish in my fish tank. Basically, I have 50 fish over there right now. I can reset it down to zero and, and go down there. You can also subtract and add just by clicking on that. Let's see, I can go into pan part one and add some more. Uh, what do we got here? Yeah, see, I got different fish here. Maybe I want to add got that trout, pond smell, you know, giant catfish, Japanese eel. No, now I'm back up to 50 again. So and there we go. There's all my fish that I have in there. And you can only have 50 in there at a time. And that helps run have the game run a little smoother. Because if you have a lot of moving stuff in a game, it tends to slow it down. So, you know, they keep it at 50 just to, to keep the game running good. And let's see, we went through that. We'll go to interior. The interior, this is where you've you can turn stuff on that you've purchased or unlocked. So you got your decorations. These are all the different decorations. I've purchased some of these, some of these I've unlocked. Um, so yeah, these are my different trophies that I earned. That was a uh, summer event that gave us these trophies and that's how I turned the trophies on. So if you did the summer event and you earned these trophies, you can turn them off and on and you can see my little trophies down there on the bottom. Um, all the different decorations, plants, these different decorations that I purchased are in there. Some of those that I actually earned. And then you got your default wall if you want to turn that on. See, I don't have anything back there now. I got my stone wall, which is the one I like. And then you have your glass wall, which allows you to see outside through, which is, that's also kind of cool. I've, I've switched between the snow, stone wall and the glass wall. So 
we have the decorations there. The leaderboard, this is where you can go out and see how you're doing on the leaderboard if you want to participate in the leaderboard. Basically, to participate in the leaderboard, you do have to fish a lot of hours um, to get into the top 100. If you're really good at figuring out the points and, and doing all that, you could probably do it for about four hours a day to get into the top 100 of freshwater. Um, but, you know, I personally don't do the leaderboard, but this is where you can go out and see how you are doing on the leaderboard. You got your salt water score and then your fresh water score. As you can see, I'm uh, way down there. <laughs> and then you got your fish leaderboard. Fish leaderboard is actually kind of cool. This is where you can go out and see where you stand on the fish leaderboard. Take a look at the pond smelt here. I am number one for the pond smelt out of, I don't know how many thousands of people, but yeah. So I thought that was pretty cool that I got number one on pond smelt. You can select the different size fish. So you got small, medium. This shows you all the different medium size fish. You got your large fish here. And then you got your huge fish. These are the ones that you're gonna find out in the ocean. And if we looked at the giant squid here, I'm also number one on the giant squid. So if you wanna to try to beat my giant squid score, there you go, 153.540 inches is what you gotta beat. So those are the only two I have that are in the top, that are in the top one uh number one so <laughs> i do have some that are um in the top five but those are my uh my number ones and we go down here to multiplayer this is where you would start a multiplayer game or you would join a multiplayer game if you haven't done multiplayer i highly recommend it i've met a lot of really cool people out here got a lot of cool friends um these are all open so you can hit join on those sometimes you'll see a little lock uh this one is uh you know a group down here that are doing a group chat there so you can change between us west us east you got your uh europe asia and we're back to us west i will often be in us west so if you're looking for me if you ever want to fish with me um you would go to us west that's usually where i'm at um, so you got your different regions up here if you want to select you know you want to just do the Japan part one, then you would go out here and you would join Japan part one. So these show you what regions that uh, you can, they're actually fishing in. Now what you can do is you can create a room. And as you can see the region here, that's because they selected Japan part one. Um, you got your public, your private and your party. Um, the, with the little two people, that was a party. You got private, that'll have a little lock on it, which means that uh, nobody else can join you. It's just you and whoever you have invited you gave them the code to join and then you got your room name this is uh, restricted so you can't use any bad words or anything like that so make sure you keep it pretty clean and uh you'll always find me if i create the room it's going to be the vr fisherman's room or i'm going to say the vr fisherman and the level that i'm on or something like that but it should always say the vr fisherman uh, you can change how many players you're going to allow in there and again, your regions, if you want to just do US West, you could do a US West and then that will start your US West multiplayer um, game. And then let's go down here to settings. I'm going to spend a little bit of time in settings here. So in settings, this is where you can change all kinds of stuff. Um, you have your ambient music here, your sound effects, um, interface. The interface is basically, if you turn that off, now you don't hear the little pops. You know, if we turn that up, back up, I hear the pops like that. That's what the interface is. So I usually keep it pretty low. You got your ambient noise. That's going to be like waves crashing and stuff like that. Sound effects is going to be like the reeling of your reel and stuff like that. So when you're in the game, you can kind of play around with those and see how you want to adjust those to your liking. Graphics quality and frame rate. I highly recommend just leaving those at high. I don't know why anybody would change those to low. It really doesn't have any effect on the game, leaving them on high that I know of, that I've noticed. Um, so I always just leave those on high. Of course, you got your difficulty. You can change that here. You can also change it in your pop-up menu while you're fishing. You got your normal difficulty. Um, that's where you put your glasses on and you can see the fish in the water. You have the hard difficulty, which takes away the fish 
being able to see the fish in the water, but it gives you a fish finder. And then you have your expert difficulty, which takes away the fish finder and the ability to see the fish at all. You're just casting out and trying to find it. More like real fishing. Uh, hard is kind of like, you know, you're using a fish finder on a boat, stuff like that. You can change your unit of measure down here if you want to change that to uh, what you're used to in your country. Uh, MRC, that is mixed reality content. That's mainly for content creators that want to utilize a green screen and take video of themselves fishing in the game. Um, so there's a few people that have done mixed reality or there's a few, mainly you see it like on games like Beat Saber and stuff like that where you have you know, mixed reality where you see yourself, your, your person inside the game using a green screen. Controllers up here, uh, you can change to single handed and both handed. Um, I prefer single, uh, it's better on my shoulder, of course. And, but it defaults to both. Both is when you're having to reel in, you know, with both hands, if you do single, all you have to do is just pull your, your trigger with this finger right here. Uh, or if you're on the left controller right there, then you would pull it with this finger right here. And then uh, that actually reels in for you. I find it's also easier to bring in some of the bigger fish like sharks and stuff like that when I'm playing single handed. That's actually what made the biggest difference for me when I was first learning um, and trying to bring in the sharks was switching over to single handed. Uh, before that, it was really difficult for me. Now it's a piece of cake, but um, when I first started, Switching over to single-handed really made a huge difference as far as bringing in the big fish. Uh, as far as movement in the lodge, teleport is what I prefer. You can do fast walk and slow walk, fast turn and slow turn. I'm going to go ahead and turn these on. Now, these could cause motion sickness, so that's why I use teleport and snap turn. I'm not a huge fan of using the slow walk or the fast and fast. So I'll go ahead and turn on slow just so you can kind of see. So there's slow. And then if I push my joystick forward, see, I'm kind of walking and you're walking slow. Oh, yep. And I'm back here and I'm going to go back into the settings here. I'm going to go ahead and turn my snap back on and teleport. With teleport, that's where you and snap is where you go left and right. And you just kind of snap to the direction and then you can teleport by pressing your thumbstick forward and and going to where you want to go. Lodge environment. Um, I have mine on real time, so it will change during the time of the day. So if right now it's it's daytime, as you can see outside, it's daytime. Um, so you have day, you have sunset, and then you have night. Sometimes, depending on how they have the lodge set up, they might block this out. I know during Christmas they had it set to nighttime so that they could have all the Christmas lights and stuff on. Um, so sometimes you can have this normal where you can change it to real time or day or sunset. You can change it your own. Um, sometimes they'll black it out to where you can't change that at all. Down here is an important one. You got your data storage. So on this, it normally, it, it always uploads to the cloud by default. So. It's not that important. It used to be very important that you would come out here and have to save it, especially if you're doing a uh, factory reset of your headset. And I would also recommend doing it, even if you, even though that it automatically saves it. If you're going to do a factory reset of your headset, come out here to the game, go to data storage and click save. It takes just a second and it will save all your data to the cloud so that when you do a factory reset of your headset, when you come back in, you log back in, you can get your uh, data back that you of your fishing environment. You know, everything that you've earned in the fishing game. Reset, that button will actually reset you. If you've caught all the fish and you got all the money and you bought all the stuff and you're like, I, I just want to start over from scratch. Hit the reset button. It will allow you to reset it back to day one. Um, you're wondering why would anybody want to do that? <laughs> people have actually, the reason they added this reset button is because they had a lot of people ask to do that. Um, a lot of people like to go through the game and then when a, a new DLC or something comes out, they want to reset it. They want to do a reset and go back to day one and start over. So they added a reset button. But uh, again, 
Only if you want to reset back to day one. Um, other than that, don't press the button. <laughs> Down here in the tutorials, I highly recommend if you have not done so already, do these tutorials. They help out a lot. They also unlock uh, a trophy over there, which earns you some money. It earns you a little cap and stuff like that. So yeah, I highly recommend if you have not done so. If you're new to the game and you haven't done the tutorials, this helps a lot. Um, this will show you a lot of the different settings and stuff like that. Kind of what I'm going through here, only these are just quick little tutorials. Like the menu overview and stuff like that. We'll go over here, we'll look at my little trophy board here. Not really trophies, it's my metal board. I earned these two medals during the summer event. This is where you would find the medals for the leaderboard. So if you've been in the top three of the leaderboard um, for that month, and you'll get a first, second, and third place medal up here if you're one of those top three players. So as you can see, uh, I've never placed in the leaderboard. Again, it's a lot of hours that you have to dedicate to fishing. And a lot of my hours that I dedicate to this game are editing these videos and helping you guys. Um, so that's why I don't uh, participate in the in the leaderboard because I I use all of my fishing time and stuff to help make videos for you guys. And we'll go over here and we'll take a look at my fish tank real quick. Here's my fish tank. If you ever wondered what my fish tank looks like, I have a whole bunch of epic fish in there and stuff like that. So, yep, there's my fish tank. These gold trophies down here are from the summer event. They were uh, rewards for the summer event. All right, so let's take a look over here. The trophy cabinet. Now, these I highly recommend you coming over here and you just kind of hovering over. Here's one that I have not finished. So this is kind of a good example. If you haven't finished them, you'll see what it takes to get to the next grade. So to get to that one, I need to get 320 more fish from lakes and rivers on the, on Japan. And then it will unlock that reward right there. And that is a reward that will be going into my saltwater tank. Um, but if you hover over it, you can see 2,000 credits, 2,000 credits. If you add all this up, you can get a lot of money by doing, you know, a lot of these different requirements, basically. <laughs> So yeah, so you unlock different stuff like boats and uh, we got a pontoon boat, sailboat, graduation cap. That's the submarine. That's when you purchase all the boats, different suits and stuff like that. You get different, like that's a dolphin and thing like that, which I'll show you how you um, add those to my fish tank down in the, uh, I shouldn't say down, in Lodge B. So, all right. So there's that. Let's go over here. And let me take you outside real quick. Take you to the boats. This is where you would change your boats. So when you're out fishing and you see other boats, to you change your boat, you come outside. And for fresh water, you just select left and right. Right there, you can select the different colors. Okay, like that. I kind of like that yellow one. I, I'm a big fan of yellow. You can see my yellow submarine there. Click on salt water. Select all the different boats. Right there, there's my my boat that I earned from a uh, summer event. Shark face on there. So yeah, and then you, like I said, you can change the different colors and stuff like that. But this is how you change your boats. Let's go back in, and we'll go over here and show you the closet. All right, so here we are in the closet. Um, you can see the different reels and some rods over there. Um, some of these are just for decoration, I think, because I think some of those are duplicates. Yeah, I got two blue ones down there. So I think they've added a few just for decoration. Um, but, you know, I've purchased everything. So you can see all the ones that I've purchased and stuff like that. But yeah, see, we got two blue ones over there. So they got duplicates out there as well. Over here at the mirror, this is where you're going to change your clothing. Hey, there's me. If you want to add a hat, you can change your gender down here. You can change your face style. You can change your color of your skin and how old you are. Although this really doesn't change a whole lot. It adds a little bit more shadow on your face and stuff like that. And you can change your hair color. And again, this is all stuff for 
my real VR fishing avatar. Now, by default, it usually starts you off at the as the meta avatar. Let me switch to the meta avatar and show you real quick. So yeah, here we are as the meta avatar. So this is what it will default you on the game. So if you start the game and you're like a meta avatar like this, um, some of the restrictions on meta avatar, of course, you don't have any of the clothing, you don't have the hats and all that other stuff. There's no watch, there's no gloves. You also can't fish with one hand. You have to fish two-handed when you're using the meta avatar, at least currently. Um, so I personally, and also to change your clothing and stuff like that, when you do customize avatar, it will pull you out of the game. It will take you to the meta home screen where you can change your, your clothing and stuff like that. It's pretty limited. I'm not a huge fan of the, the meta avatar myself on, on any game just because of how limited it is. So I highly recommend using the classic avatar. And I'm back. Classic avatar, of course, much better. So anyways, you can change your hairstyle. You can change the colors and all that stuff. You got your facial hair here, eyebrows, eye color. Now we're going to go over here to the clothing. You got t-shirts here. This is where you got your different t-shirts. Some, some of these you've earned. Some of these they give away for free during events. And then some of these you have uh, purchased. You got your uh, jackets and uh, stuff that you wear over your shirts here. So I got all my different jackets and stuff like that. Again, these a lot of these are stuff that I've earned, um, stuff that I've purchased. I've purchased, even though I'm not a female, I purchased all the female clothing as well. <laughs> so I have everything. Yep, and you can change the different colors. If I want to change the color of my shirt, green, blue, purple. Yep, you can change the colors up there. Go over here to the hat icon. Even though it's a hat and glasses, you have your hat, glasses, and your gloves. So you're, this is where you would change your gloves. So if you're confused on where you would change your gloves, it's underneath the hat and glasses icon. You get your gloves at the very end over here. If you want to wear sunglasses or regular glasses or however you want. And you get your different hats, all the different styles of hats that you've purchased, earned, or otherwise. They're right there. Once you've made all your changes, then you just click save right there. And you say confirm. And then you're saved. All right. So that is it for our avatar. All right. So now this door here will take us to Lodge B. I'm going to go ahead and go into there. Ooh. Had a fish in my face. <laughs> well, there's a glitch. All right. So here's Lodge B. Lodge B is your saltwater lodge. So in here is where you can actually change all your or view all your saltwater fish that you've caught. Um, this is unlocked once you hit level 16. And actually, it might have changed now because you're able to fish all locations now. So it might automatically be unlocked. I know it used to be you had to be level 16 to get, to get into the uh, saltwater lodge, but it might be unlocked now. I'll have to find out. Again, you have the same board, you have the same mail, coupons, reward, news. All of these icons are pretty much the same except for interior and fish. So if we go to fish here, this is going to be all of our different saltwater fish. Again, you have South Korea, US West, Japan Part 1, Japan Part 2. Um, so you can clip those off and on, see all the different fish. You can click on the fish, you know, see their depth, their habitat, if it's a rare. You know, stuff like that it shows the maximum size that you've caught. Things like that. And we go down here to the interior. Interior, this is where you can change your aquarium walls, decorations, and rewards. So you got your walls. Right now I have in the rock wall back there. The decorations, these are all the different decorations that I've purchased. All of those different rocks and plants and stuff like that. That's all here in the decorations. If you got seaweed, there's a wrecked boat in the background there that I purchased. You got your rewards. Now, this is, I was showing you that trophy cabinet up there. These are where you turn on those rewards. Most of those trophies up there, uh, the rewards are going to be for your saltwater tank. So even if you've won, even if you've got the rewards for doing something in freshwater and it unlocks a reward, 
more than likely it's going to be for your saltwater tank. So this is where you would come down and unlock those rewards. So and you put them in your tank. And you basically just come in here and you flip the little switch and they show up. All of these rewards, except for the Japanese spider crab, you get two of. So as you can see, I haven't done this one yet. That's that one trophy up there that I still haven't finished. Once I finish that, then I'll have a little switch down here. I'll be able to turn that on and put it in my tank. So as you can see, the spider crab, you only get one of those. All the other ones, you get two of each of them. So you can see some of my different rewards out there. And yeah, that is the rewards. Um, furniture over here. You can purchase furniture to put into your Lodge B. Um, this, this furniture is also interactable. So you can actually sit in these chairs, sit in that chair, stuff like that. You can sit in your desk, you can sit in that chair, you can lay down in your bed. Here I am laying in my bed here. Stuff like that. So yeah, so you can put in different, you can just lay there and just enjoy your fish tank. Yay. Let's take a look at my fish tank. <laughs> there you go. And uh, I've showed this tip in another video, but if you want to actually get into your fish tank, here's how you do it. You lean forward, turn your, turn yourself around, then you lean backwards, turn yourself around, and you just keep doing this. Lean forward, lean backwards. See, now I'm inside my tank. So, little little bonus tip for you there. <laughs> and you can go all the way to the back if you want. So yeah, so there is the lodge. Um, that's all I'm going to cover in this video. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. And if it was, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button. It helps me and it helps you as well. That way you can come out and see more tips and tricks like this in the future. Also, if you are new to the channel because of this video, um, take a look at some of my playlists or some of my other videos. I have a lot of videos. If you're new to the game, I have a lot of videos on how to catch a lot of the epics and rares, um, basically all the epics and rares. Um, I have a video, I have a spreadsheet that I have created for people to use. I have actually multiple spreadsheets for all the DLCs as well. In those spreadsheets, it's ha it has things like um, different color codes, and we'll go over and that, that video goes over what the color, what I mean by color codes on the spreadsheet. It's got tips and tricks on how to catch the different ep epics and rares on that spreadsheet, and even tips on catching some of the other fish that are a little bit more difficult, even though they're not considered an epic or rare. So yeah, take a look at my channel. I've got all kinds of stuff out there. And again, hit that subscribe button so you can see all my new videos as I, as I put them out. So, Hey, thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you and you have a great day. Bye-bye.